Yo, what's up, besto friendo? That was so corny. But look, I got a beat for you guys that I don't want to tell you how I made because I thought it was really interesting on how I made it. So this beat here that I posted a week ago from recording this video is one of my recent beats. And I thought it was really unique the way everything was. And I had a, I had a comment, my boy Van, my ver, <laughs> my boy VDM. I'm sorry, I cannot say the full name. I butcher it every time. But let's get straight to it. All right, so cool. We have our melody here. That's what I want to start off with first. So this is what it sounds like. Dry. Pull it over. See, that sounds cool, but I didn't like the panning part of it, so I wanted to make sure that wasn't too annoying on people's ears. So what I did for effects, I added a stereo shaper and did the mid piece set. So then after that, I could put a ozone imager to widen it so it's not too just in the middle. And this is a free, pl free plugin, so you should definitely cop this. And then after that, we have a phaser for the chorus. You'll hear that later. And I have an EQ to EQ out some of the lows. And I have a gate from Foodie Love Filter, and you'll hear this later on in the B2. And I also added a reverb for certain parts of the song, so it sounds different. This is what it sounds like with those effects, except for the phaser and the gate. Now back to the phaser and the gate. The phaser was this metallic preset that gave this it weird noise to it for the chorus. And I thought that was pretty cool. So I had that effect on it. And the gate was for verses. So it was like a different variation in it because the beat was going crazy the entire time. I didn't want it to continuously be the same thing. So I had that gate on it to give it like a different bounce, a different vibe with it. And it worked pretty well. This is what it sounds like without the reverb and with the gate on it. Some cool things about this, about the gate is that I stopped it at this section right here because it sounded cool then i added the reverb which gave it this like a reverse effect because of the dry the dryness of it so it, just, it was just like a fading wah thing and i thought that was pretty cool for like the next four bars or 16 whatever you call it okay so what the phaser does here is it get this is like really metal noise to it and it just goes like up and down throughout the 16 bars and it sounds pretty cool. This is what it sounds like. All right, so cool. That's everything about the melody, a part of this beat. Um, now we're finished with that. And now we can move to the next section which is the drums. It's gonna be really quick, so let's knock this out of the park. All right, so cool, for the drums, I kept them really simple. The only thing unique about this is the open hi-hat pattern that I have, I think. Nothing too crazy. So for, I'm gonna start off with the regular stuff, you know, regular, um, regular rim, just, you know, regular hi-hats. Here's an open hi-hat, second open hi-hat, and some perks, 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 always need those. So I kept them in a nice bounce rhythm that made sense, but not too crazy to where it's just like, what am I listening to? So here's how it sounds like all together. The thing is, I haven't used kicks in forever, and I don't know why, but I just can't use kicks anymore. Like, the 808 is just really banging, and I don't know what to do. I'm just 
lost with kicks but this is nice the eight the um one thing i do want to point out is the open eye hat pattern there's like some octaves down here i like those but you don't want to overdo it too much because i've only done it three times in the span of nine bars or whatever you want to call it and it's not too crazy it makes sense nothing of is doing it too much there's not a lot of hi-hat rolls either not a lot of hi-hat rolls kept it nice and simple nice two-step pattern with little sprinkles in there and for the chorus i have the perks and for the verses i took out the perks because you don't want it too full for the verses and stuff you know all right so cool since that's done with drums the melodies now I can go over the counter melody and, and what that is because I didn't want it to be just the sample. I wanted to add my own element to it and it's very minimal, not too crazy. And it's this sound right here. Okay, so for the counter melody, this is what it sounds like real quick. So that was cool it was like a really gritty 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 thing and i thought it was pretty cool i just laid out some root notes and then added the accent notes like the g and the g sharp and it made sense not too crazy but it made sense keep that in mind the instrument that i used was vital it's free free plug and one of my friends from a discord service sent this over to me downloaded it and i got one of the presets i can't remember which one but it was one of these art presets and it sounded really cool, but I did change a few things. I don't remember what I did change, but it sounds nice. And for the effects that I put on for this was a polychorus, a effector with the lo-fi module with it, a delay with ping pong, and I messed with the feedback distortion a little bit got that little even more like the effector scratch to it and then reverb of course so it's not too dry next up we have the 8 away pattern and this might take a while because i want to go more in depth with the slides and how to use slides boom the 8 away pattern is right here here's the first 8 away pattern this is the one that's in the intro that plays and the rhythm i don't really know how to explain it but this is how it sounds like So first thing I want to acknowledge is the rolls right here. They are automated from right here. What you can do is click and just, or like highlight them, and then just click and drag it up to make it like a diagonal line to if you wanted to go up or down. And that right there, it can be anywhere. It could have been like two octaves up or two octaves down, but that's like a good transition thing for an 808. And I did it right here because I knew I wanted to have a slide for these right here and this slide is very weird i don't know why that's here and i know people are gonna get mad at me for that but yeah um, then over here i did the same roll again but this time it's more slides like an octave higher for this one and here's another pattern right here this is basically the same but with a little bit more changes in the in the rolls and like the pattern and the balance of this is what this is what this sounds like so for this one rolls this is an octave up now instead of being down here and this over here it did sound weird this part right here it's like a brr brr. <laughs> what I did was I had a bunch of high notes and it would slide down the octave, but this one goes, they all go to C sharp. Each one of them goes to C star because the highest one is a C sharp and it made sense and it sounds like it's in key and it makes sense. The slide right here is basically the same as this one over here, but it's changed, pushed forward a little, a bar, you know, and that's what that one is. 
The next one we have is, I think, the craziest out of all of them. This is what it, this one sounds like. So this one, instead of going like waiting for this one or like the one down here, I think it's the G. It actually goes up an octave, down to a G, down back to a C. And it does that over and over again. For this one, we still have the um, roll, the slide, and here's the new one that we have. This one is basically the same as this, but this time it doesn't repeat again to do that uh, roll with the slide down roll, but it goes down to like to a C so it can hit the next C again, so it loops. The things about slide with these is that you don't want to have all your slides the same. You want them different. So be like, oh, that's a new thing. Well, that's cool. That sounds nice. So you always want to keep that interesting. Here we go. This one is very open. This one's very, very open. Keep that in mind. This is what this one sounds like. So this one has a like gradually going down note thing like a piano does when they do that weird melody and it sounds nice. But this one, it does with the 808, it goes down and it's in key. Please make sure your 808s are in key because no one wants to listen to off key 808s. So it goes down, back to the C from a G all the way up here. And pattern repeats, but this time over here, it does that three hit, that classic three hit. 808 to go into this end pattern right here does the roll again and does this you know high thing and there's a slide right here that goes up i think this is in one six yeah one six step no that's step beat good thing they change your grid but always make sure you're always on one fourth beat because if you're not you're gonna mess up everything if you can if you forget to change it back Here we go this one here's this other 808 that we have right here this is for the bridge and i used like a drill 808 because i wanted it to be a longer 808 and it like was a synthy type one and that's what this one sounds like So for this, I did add some effects to it. I added a sound godizer on preset D, 75% up, uh, blood overdrive, stereoized, three presets, stereoized three, and ozone imager, free plugin, by the way, definitely get it out, probably widen it too loud, stereoized it too much, but it sounds nice. And I added an effect with a lo-fi preset and gave it that little crunch to it. And that was cool for the bridge and stuff. And that's really all the 808s and bases for this beat right here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the 808 section of this was rushed and done completely out of order, but hopefully you did learn something out of that and saw like how to do the slides and what to do with them. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Um, I will be posting more beats soon and, you know, making more videos like these because these are fun to make if DaVinci decides to work properly on some days. But yeah, please make sure to drop a like, comment what you guys think of this, some things I should have pointed out, and please subscribe. Uh, yeah, peace.